Hello, this is Neil with Lane Arms and Appraisals, and I'm here today with a Weatherby Mark V AccuMark bolt-action rifle and 300 Weatherby Magnum. Now, Weatherby introduced this rifle in the AccuMark configuration in 1997, and I was one of their first customers. I bought one of these as soon as it came out in 300 Weatherby Magnum. This rifle, uh, really cool what they did with it. They, uh, When they first started making them, uh, they gave you an HS Precision Stock with the Monte Carlo cheek piece, the black finish, and the gray spiderweb accents. Over the years, they've changed that. They switched from HS Precision to Bell & Carlson, and I believe currently they have their own in-house proprietary stocks. But regardless, if you buy one from 1997 or 2007 or from their current catalog, you're getting a hand-laid fiberglass stock with an aluminum bedding block and a black decelerator recoil pad. They're all standard that way. Uh, when they first introduced the rifle, they did it with the matte black finish and then a stainless barrel with matte black finish in the flutes of the barrel. It's a fluted barrel. Uh, current uh, configuration, that's actually a graphite black Cerakote finish on the action, the bolt, and the flutes. And then they've also started spiral fluting the bolt, and you get an oversized bolt nub in the modern version of this gun. Anyway, they brought this out to be a long-range, accurate hunting rifle, and that's really how it works. Phenomenal rifle. When they first introduced this for an extra $200, you could get the AccuBrake muzzle brake put on there. That is now a standard feature on all AccuMark rifles. If you get it, it comes with the muzzle brake. That is threaded. You can screw it right off. It comes with a muzzle a thread protector in the box. You can put that on there if you want to shoot it without the muzzle brake. So if you want to shoot it with the muzzle brake from the bench, that's great for taming the recoil out of this thing. Um, just be sure that if you do shoot it off the bench with the muzzle brake and you plan on hunting without it, be sure you also sight it in without the muzzle brake because your point of impact is going to change between using the brake and not using the brake. Um, anyway, very nice rifle. Like I say, I bought my first one in 1997. Took it hunting several times. The only thing I ever actually killed with that thing was an unlucky jackrabbit. Uh, funny story, I was 18. My first hunting rifle was a 270. When I went from a 270 to a 300 Weatherby, I realized shooting it off the bench that it was really easy for me to develop a little bit of a flinch. So I decided I just needed to take it out and just do some casual shooting with it to familiarize myself with the rifle. And a jackrabbit kind of got between me and wherever I was walking. And uh, I absolutely smoked that poor son of a gun. Anyway, Weatherby AccuMark rifle, great guns. Um, this one is going up for sale right now on my website. But coincidentally, last week, I ended up with about eight boxes of 300 Weatherby factory new ammunition. And I've also got a loophole VX3 scope sitting on my desk right now that doesn't have a home. So if none of you guys buy this, I will probably absolutely pull this thing off the market and just go shoot it myself. Thank you so much for watching. This is Neil with Lane Arms and Appraisals. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out.